If you're like me, Scout is one of the reasons you even started playing TF2. As you can probably tell just from looking at him, he's quick, agile, and annoying. If you've watched Meet the Scout, you know that he can easily outrun a sentry's aim. Yeah, they lied. You wanna know what actually happens when Scout comes across a sentry? Here's what that looks like. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm not good enough. I know that much. I'm aware that I have no chance of beating you. And yet, I must try. It's not about winning or losing! It's about me taking you on right here and right now! But being fast doesn't mean he's weak. Scout can pack a mean punch, which is why his best weapon is... The Atomizer. It has a nearly 100% hit Hello, rate, and insta-kills too. Using only the Atomizer is an unbeatable strategy, so if you're looking to get a lot of kills really fast, get one of these as soon as possible and get out there. You want to learn how to blow your opponents up? Playing Soldier is as easy as two simple steps. Step 1. Locate the left mouse button on your mouse. Great, you're already a master at the class. Step 2. Did you get that? It's something like... When playing Pyro, there's something cool you can do from the moment you spawn in. If you press the comma key on your keyboard, it'll bring up this menu. And from here, you can play as literally any other class in the game. Demo is definitely one of the more funner classes in the game. With Demo, you can choose to play Stock, which is with his Grenade Launcher, Sticky Launcher, and a Bottle. Or, you can even switch his Primary to a Cannon and shoot actual cannonballs at your opponents. You can equip a sticky jumper to go really long distances. And you can even equip a sword and a shield to play as a knight. Demo provides a lot of variety, which is why I find myself playing him very often. But here's a little secret not many players know about. We all know sticky jumping. But when you sticky jumping, if you really want to go far, you can't just regular jump before you detonate your stickies. Instead, what you want to do is equip the nuke launcher, and only a split second before you jump, press the crouch key. When you do this, you'll get a really big boost. Sometimes when you're playing heavy, you find yourself easily getting backstabbed, headshot, or otherwise targeted at. It can get a little frustrating. Heavy's a big guy with a strong weapon and a lot of HP, but that also means he's a big target. Thankfully, there's a solution. It's called the Komiki Tiger Drop. This move negates all damage and unleashes a furious counterattack at your opponents. They jump at me! They jump at me! It's perfect for making it past the battlefield and into enemy territory.
Now, all my NG mains out there know that Engineer can get a little lost sometimes. So first, you have to escape this massive underground facility in order to actually make it to the battle. It's some weird TF2 lore stuff, I don't know. Hey, there we go, we made it out. See it, what? Wait, no, this isn't right. Hold on, what? Wait, hold on. What? Either way, once you're out, then you can join your team and use the Pompson. You got too much dip on your chill. Even if you've only watched or played a little bit of TF2, you most likely have seen some of the other mercenaries call out for Medic. If it's your first time starting TF2, you may have discovered that the E key is already bound to do so. This is actually because Medic has one of the strongest melees in the game. So if you're playing Medic and somebody calls out for you, it's like them saying, Hey, I could really use your melee right about now. And by the way, heal is just German for melee. Now get out there and go heal some people. Sniper can definitely be a difficult class to play. If you're not good at getting those headshots, you'll find yourself at the bottom of the leaderboard really quick. Thankfully, you don't always have to snipe in order to get a kill. Not many players know this, but Sniper has a hidden technique that always makes sure you stay on top. It's called the King Australia Giga Piss Breaker. I really don't know why more people don't use it. But, if you really like sniping and want to get better, here's a few tips to help you aim. First, open up the command console with the tilde key. Then, type in plus right or plus left. As you can see, I type in plus right. Equip the stock sniper rifle and look directly at the ceiling. Now, just walk out into the battlefield and you'll notice that your aim has significantly increased. Spy is a very deadly class, but to new players he can definitely seem very complex and overwhelming to play as. With such a wide arsenal compared to the other mercenaries, it may seem like you have no idea what you're doing. Let me break Spy down. One of Spy's tools is called a Sapper. This tool is designed to be placed on any of Engineer's buildings and slowly destroy them, and while they're being sapped, they cannot be used. Perfect for allowing your team to get past enemy defense. As you may already know, Spy's butterfly knife is weak from the front, but a backstab insta-kills any opponent. But how do you get backstabs? There's two tools in his arsenal to help you get behind your enemies. First, the disguise kit. This allows you to look just like a member of the enemy team, and to people not paying attention, you'll be practically invisible. But don't disguise right in front of your enemies, that'll give you away, obviously. Secondly, you actually can become invisible, using the cloak watch. Cloak when nobody can see you, run behind enemy lines, and uncloak without anyone seeing you once again. Now, you've just flanked your opponents and can get some easy backstabs. You can even combine the two tools to become extra sneaky. Here, I'll show you what that looks like. See, Spy doesn't look so bad now, does he? And that is the last class of Team Fortress 2. I hope you found this guy to be very helpful in starting TF2. Thank you for watching and don't forget to have fun.